How's it going guys? My name is Joel and today I'm going to be trying the Bud Light Seltzer Fall Flannel Limited Edition Variety Pack with 12 cans and 4 flavors. Toasted Marshmallow, Pumpkin Spice, Maple Pear, and Apple Crisp. Each of the cans in this variety pack have 5% alcohol, so if you want to try it, remember, drink responsibly. After I try all 4 flavors in this variety pack, I'll be staying home, because that's how I drink responsibly. Now, real quick, let's look at the box. As you can tell, the fall and flannel variety pack has fall and flannel on it. It's got the red and orange leaves up here at the corner, and the four cans are sitting in some hay at the bottom. It's got a big flannel backdrop back there, and on each of the four cans, there's a flannel design. Red, green, orange, and brown for each of the flavors. I like it. I really do like it. But anyways, let's get this box open. This is what the cans look like, and I will say that they look pretty much the same as they did on the box, but the color on the cans is a little bit lighter, and that's understandable. This is printing on metal, that's printing on cardboard, so whatever. But anyways, on the top of the cans, this one is brown, orange, green, and red. They have a champagne, orange, green, and red can tab on the top, so you know what color you're picking up out of the cooler so that you don't gotta look at the side. Now, real quick, as I try each of these, I'm gonna do a few things. First things first, I'm gonna shake it up a little bit to make sure all those flavors are mixed real well. Then, I'm gonna pop it open and let you know how great that pop sounds. Then I'm gonna smell it, and then I'm gonna taste it, and then I'm gonna give a review of a thumbs up, a so-so, or a thumbs down. And if anything comes to mind as I try any of these flavors, I'm gonna let you know. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I said I'll be adding a new feature in my next video, and here it is. It's this little wheel thing. On the wheel is five categories. Each one repeats twice. The first one is fun fact. Extra sip. Whistle a song. Tell a joke. And finish a can. So, you kind of get it. I'm going to spin the wheel. I'm either going to tell a fact, take a sip, whistle a song, tell a joke, or finish a whole can. And the rules are, after I try two cans, I'm going to spin the wheel. After I try another two cans, I'm going to spin the wheel. And each question that I get, I'll spin the wheel after I answer the question. So, send me some more questions and I'll spin the wheel even more. So now, let's start off with the first flavor, toasted marshmallow. Oh, that pop was so loud. Ooh, what? Ooh, dang, dang. I hope it's good. This does smell just like marshmallow. And not just marshmallow, toasted marshmallow, which is supposed to smell like, but how do you get a toasted marshmallow rather than just a regular marshmallow? I don't know, man, but I hope it's good. Woo! That's a lot of flavor. <laughs> that's a lot of flavor. Yeah. It does definitely taste like toasted marshmallow. Do I love it? Not really, but spot on with that flavor. I'm going to give the toasted marshmallow a really, really, really tiny thumbs up. The next flavor, pumpkin spice. Oh, crisp and perfect. Ooh, okay, so doesn't smell a lot like pumpkin spice. Kind of smells like a cross between pumpkin pie and bread pudding. Hopefully you guys like that if you try this, but otherwise, I don't know about this one. We're going to see. Uh, yeah, man, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. So, the pumpkin spice. I think I got to be a little bit more drunk to really enjoy this one. It's got a funky flavor about it. It doesn't exactly taste like pumpkin spice. It tastes something similar to pumpkin spice, but that bread pudding flavor is what's stuck in my mind with like a little bit of nutmeg and cinnamon on it. But of course, mixed with water and alcohol. So, yay, right? No. I'm going to give the pumpkin spice a real low so-so. All right, guys, here we go. Got to spin the wheel. Try two cans. That's the rule. I'm excited and terrified at the same time. Let's do it. Whistle a song. Okay, okay. If you were whistling with me, let me know down in the comments below. The next flavor, maple pear. I like that pop. Oh yeah. I don't know how they're doing this, but yes, this does smell just like maple and pear. Kind of like McDonald's syrup and then a pear. This is kind of crazy. I don't know. I'm kind of scared at the same time, excited because those two things sound really great, but we're going to see. So the maple pear, surprisingly, 
pretty spot on. The maple flavor is a little bit like low or whatever. It's not as sweet, but that's okay. It's a drink. It's not supposed to be super sweet because then it might not taste good, right? But the pear flavor, I definitely do taste it in there. And again, just super surprised that they executed this pretty well. I'm going to give the maple pear a thumbs up. And the last flavor, apple crisp. Oh, that might have been the best pop yet. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like baked apples or like an apple cobbler or something like that. And you can't go wrong with that. Am I right? Oh my goodness. I can't wait to try this one, man. This one right here tastes pretty good. And I think it probably even tastes good warm too because it reminds me a little bit of like warm apple cider. And if you've never had that, you're missing out. Come on, Christmas time, Thanksgiving, get it and drink it. You'll enjoy. I'm going to give the apple crisp a thumbs up. Now, let's spin the wheel. Finish can. You know what? I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. Right on. I'm so glad I kind of like this flavor. But anyways, let me finish this up. And done. If you tried this variety pack, remember, recycle your cans. I want to hear from you guys. What did you think? If you tried this variety pack, which one was your favorite flavor? Don't forget to let me know down in the comments below. Last week, I asked you to ask me a question, and you replied. Now here is my reply. The first question. Best and worst drink you've reviewed so far? The best, I would probably have to say, is the Truly Tea Lemon Tea. Some people say, oh, I don't like that one. But you know what? I really do like that one. And that's probably because I really do enjoy all types of teas. And that particular one and that four pack, because it had four flavors in there, was really good. The worst, I would probably say, was LaCroix's Nicola Coffea Exotica flavor. And that was the second review video that I've ever made. And oh my goodness, I am so glad that this little wheel thing that I'm introducing today was not a part of me reviewing that because it tasted so bad and the things were fresh. It wasn't like they were bad, it was bad coffee or bad whatever, never again. I hope you guys remember the rules because I said I was gonna spin the wheel after each question. So, here I go. You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> well, I'm going to work backwards. So, from this one, I'm gonna go to this one. Dang, that sucks. <laughs> My second favorite flavor. Let me finish this up. And done. Again, the second question. Which letter in the word scent is silent? S or C? The letter C is silent in the word scent because the C is meant to sound as a S sound, but the S sounds like a S. So therefore, it is the secondary consonant. And I just made that crap up. But anyways, it would sound really silly if you said scent, scent. Sounds like you're stuttering or something like that. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's the C. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Let's spin the wheel. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh. What? Yo, I don't know what's going on over here. I don't know if there's a magnet that I didn't put there, but is on there or something like that. And it loves the color purple, but you know what I got to do. This is my favorite flavor too. Mmm. Let me finish this up. Oh man, and done, yeah. And the last question. Is ketchup considered a smoothie because tomatoes are considered fruits? I would say no, ketchup is not considered a smoothie even though it is a fruit, even though it don't taste sweet and most fruits taste sweet. But anyways, there's a whole debate about that. But no, because ketchup has things in it that you don't want in the smoothie, like vinegar? Like, come on, you don't want that in a smoothie unless you're trying to do a healthy cleanse or something like that. You know what I'm talking about. But no, ketchup is not a smoothie because it's got all kinds of ingredients in it that you don't want in a smoothie. And I don't want to spin this wheel another time and then get on the purple, so I'm trying to stall right now. Please do not be finished can. I've gotten it three times and I don't know how that happened, but yeah, please, thank you. You gotta be kidding me, oh my god. <laughs> Yo, this is just straight foul, man. We can do this, we can do this. I got this, I got this, no problem, toasted marshmallow, I got you. 
Let me finish this up. That tasted so bad, man. That's definitely the worst one right there. And done. Yeah. Thanks for all your questions. Send me another one every Talk To Me Thursday on my Instagram page. I hope you guys like the new spinning wheel thing because clearly it makes things happen. I mean, I finished all four cans here. That was really great luck. But anyways, let me know how you really feel down in the comments below. And don't forget, you can change the categories on this wheel. You just got to tell me what you want it to be. And if I think it's something that I can accomplish and handle, I'm going to put it on the wheel. So let me know again down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.